What's going on, Nerd Army guys? Welcome to the newest episode of Questions from the Multiverse. Now, guys, in this segment, we like to get the questions that you guys give us in the comments down below and try to answer them as best as we can. Now, this one was actually asked by Mark Jacobson on our Facebook page. So, Mark asked, How can Spider-Man stick to walls while he's wearing gloves and boots? Now, guys, this is a great question. When I saw this in the comments, I was stoked because I was like, okay, let's really think about this. Spider-Man is a wall crawling spider. He's a guy that can stick to walls, but how does he do that? So the best way to reference this is I'd say, let's take a look at the Sam Raimi Spider-Man film starring Tobey Maguire. And we actually get to see a good example. When Spider-Man opens his hand the first time to start climbing that wall, you see all the millions of little tiny hairs on his hand. What those hairs do is those hairs are gonna reach out and grab the wall. That's actually how he's gonna stick. But the question is, how does he do that and how do those hairs come into contact with that wall when he's wearing gloves and boots? Which is a really, really good question. Now, could those tiny little hairs actually even reach through the fabric? And definitely they couldn't reach through a treaded boot, which we often see Spider-Man wearing. Now the fan theory that made the most sense and was the most popular out of all of them was that Spider-Man is actually able to manipulate the surface friction between the wall and his fingers and toes, giving him the ability to stick, which actually kind of makes sense because think about it this way. If Spider-Man's falling from a building and grabs onto the side of another building, how is he gonna stick on there without ripping his arms off. He is actually gonna just manipulate the friction of the surface of that item between the wall or the glass and his toes and fingers, allowing him to stick to the wall. That actually makes a lot of sense and was actually the best answer I could come up with for this one. So guys, that answer itself makes a lot of sense. I really did enjoy this question. It was really cool and it was caught me completely off guard. I was like, man, I really got to think about this one. But guys, all in all, this was a great question. Thank you very much, Mark, for giving us this question. And I hope you are satisfied with my answer. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments down below. Leave them for me. I will get to them on one of the future episodes of Questions from the Multiverse. All right, guys, I will see you next time right here on Nerds Marized. All right, peace out.